welkom terug bij de Groot Ontbijt. Ons gezels nou, <laughs> lekker. Met die bekende bijkspraak kom je aan Conrad Koch. Hij is in die atelier. Ons praat over zijn nieuwe vertoning Baggage. Dat is bij die Pieter Tien Turin Monte Casino Theater. Die 15e, 16e en 17e september. 15, 16, 17 september. Pieter Turin Theater, Monte Casino. Dat is een show. Ons gaan een beetje daar gezels. Maar ons gaan ook weer gezels met een paar extra mm, gasten. Wat hij zal gebrengen. Atelier to Conrad. Good morning. Hey guys, Aangename McKenna, it's great to be here. Thanks, Jennifer. Thanks, hey. Thanks for having me on the show. You see, I love the Aangename McKenna. Uh -huh. You know how Afrikaans people work, nee? Yes. Um, um, uh, 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 when a lot of Afrikaans people stand in Kair, one English ook arrives and, and he, he just has to say, more, and then we all immediately Done. have to swap over to English. Because Done. Yeah, you, you can hear it in the accent. No, this guy is going to be a train wreck. <laughs> So thank you for joining us this morning, and, and thank you for... It's like we're getting a... Uh, for the price of one, we're getting a couple of people That's here. That's everyone today. says, is you get three MCs for the price of one if you book me, yes. I keep my friend. I've got endless jokes. I keep my friends in a suitcase. I'm like Vladimir Putin, you know. I'm like a Gupta, you know. <laughs> oh, no. And we just keep coming. <laughs> and, but, but let's just start there. Um, you are a comedian first. Yes. A stand-up comedian. Yes. Uh, uh, and, and there's... It's a... It's a it's a small group in South Africa of stand-up comedians that keep working at the art, that keep gigging it. Uh, there's not a lot of stand-up comedians in South Africa, in South Africa, in South Africa that can um, that can do it for a life, for a living. Uh, it, it's tough out there, hey? It is in that uh, most of our work is actually corporate work. So wow. uh, you know, most of our income comes from like corporate events, and uh, I this now I'm going to really sound like a a chop. But I've uh, I've got a because you know just selling my stuff. But I've yeah. got a master's degree in corporate culture, yeah. uh, which wow. I use so so Comes a in lot. Of, yeah, it does. So a lot of my work involves using humor to talk about complex issues in organisations. So if your CEO, like now, your CEO is sitting here and uh, Chester missing, who everyone knows from TV, who's interviewed Ramaphosa and Helen Zilla and Gwede Mantashi, he'll come up and give them a bit of rubbish and get them to think about issues in the company. So a lot of our income in South Africa comes from that kind of, and particularly me with yeah. the degree, comes yeah. from that kind of corporate stuff, um, as opposed to overseas where it's all just touring. Uh, so it's like a, a sort of very hybrid uh, structure, but I'm going more overseas now, so it's changing. But, but isn't that oh. a great position to be in, where you can actually speak about very important social issues? It is great as someone who's really gone into that TV, etc., etc. But the truth is, I'm actually veering more towards just the fun now for my yes. own mental health and so on. And that's kind of what the show's about: is that I find that South Africans actually just want joy. Yeah, they just want to laugh. We want to come together, have a lick of time, and that's what this show I'm doing now is about. And most of my shows now will be because we have too much heaviness, and I know we have a lot to talk about in South Africa. But for the most part, I'm done talking about that. So my, the, most of my work's not political anymore, to be honest. Ventriloquist. Yeah. Ventriloquist has always been, been, been uh, people doing nice shows for kids yeah. or magicians. Yeah. Yanni and, de Brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Immense of at least the, Yanni <laughs> de Brain back in the day. Eh? Uh, uh, Jeff Dunham started in the States uh, exactly. doing stand-up and puppetry yeah. uh, and ventriloquism. Uh, and, 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 and I must admit, I'm, I'm a little peeved at him. I don't like the way he's doing it. Ach, ik is jammer, as jy vanom hou. Hy is oulik. You're doing Shape. the same, uh, I'm not going to say style, but the same genre of comedy, uh, uh, I'd rather say, because the style is totally different. It is in that, um, you know, if you started doing comedy in South Africa, you grew up with Peter Dirk Ace as this, yeah. as this shining light of just some kind of political awareness. A satire. That was fan the satire. And so that shaped how I thought about it at first. Now I've leaned slightly more towards just entertainment with some of my other characters you yeah. really like. But um, everyone knows Chester Missing from hard satire on TV, roasting the ANC or whatever. Um, and, and for me, it was always a hybrid. I mean, Jeff Dunham wasn't on the radar until he got his terrorist puppets. Yes, you yes, couldn't read, yes. and then he, he popped. It's very stereotypical. Very kinda. stereotypical. Very like you know. I, so I don't want to go too much into that because it's not like do yes. a full roast here. But so the concept of laugh punch in comedy, you have a concept called punching up and punching down. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you don't want to be a guy going on stage and mocking women or or a straight person what mocking gay people yeah. like it just or an English someone with an English accent mocking how Afrikaans people talk is a no, lot of punching down. It's called punching down. And so I think sometimes with that what you're describing there that that 
terrorist situation is like you've got an American laughing at a Muslim guy when they're colonizing Muslim countries. So yeah. that's where the issues with Dunham comes in. So with me, I try to punch up. I mock myself for being an English-speaking white guy from Cape Town. You know, just full-on roast is some of my work. But now it's more about a little bit of that uh, and mostly just total pandemonium and fun. Lovely. But we're talking about pandemonium and fun, <clears throat> uh, also witty, extremely witty and clever, Chester Missing. Yes, my friend. He's here. Must we get him out? Please. Seriously. This is here. Chester, is, yeah, he's in a suitcase, so I don't know how he's going to be. He's a big fan of Joe Pierre. <laughs> Why space. am I in a suitcase? Hello, you got Thea, Jennifer, how are you guys? Hi, it's so great to be here. This is the first time I'm meeting Chester. Is your first time? It, it is. What an it's, honor. And, and he's a celebrity. I Thank know. you. I'm much more famous than him. <laughs> That's true. Not even... <laughs> You guys look great. You do. Thea, your yeah. shirt is a little fishy. It's fishy. Our <laughs> legs work. At least our legs work, Chester. They so, do. You know. That's true. Mine, nothing. Nothing. Nothing works there. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I'm but, dating a Barbie doll. She doesn't have anything down there. Okay. All right. <laughs> wow. That's nice. Ask Barbie. I asked Barbie, if, if you haven't got anything there, what's your gender? She says she's made out of plastic. She identifies as Tatawe. <laughs> What? You're going to get me cancelled? I don't care. Thea can take over. Come stick your hand inside, Thea. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's your daddy? Tupperware. <laughs> Jennifer's your daddy. <laughs> That's a Jennifer. Now she's a daddy. A oh. Jennifer, I like your earrings. <laughs> They're great. It's like you're wearing fishing tackle. <laughs> It goes with his shirt. They do. It can you catch know? his shirt with the old we've earrings. Got, uh, we've got a theme going here. Yeah. I love it. No. <laughs> so, 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 guys. Chester, you're with the show. Uh, you're joining Conrad in the show, obviously. He's joining me. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, you know how it goes. We, you know, it's, 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 it's a very fun It's called baggage. It's called baggage. It's called baggage because he got bullied as a kid. Yeah, as a little kid, I got bullied. Early. You can imagine because he played a doll, so it was easy. <laughs> You're a jerk, and they thought so too. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's baggage, the show. It's, it's, it's baggage, and it, it's so it's you know it's it's got a very light kind of mental health thing. You know, we have a lot of anxiety. Yeah, yes. social anxiety. You know, you know yes. social anxiety. You can always tell he's got social anxiety. They're the ones standing in the corner at the party, freaking out that they don't know what to say, and then they freak out that they look like they're freaking out that they don't want to say. Meanwhile, their face is doing this. <laughs> <laughs> You couldn't see that on radio, could you? No, you couldn't see yeah, that. No, no, that's a face for radio. Yeah, uh, you, you, the, show, the show is basically about baggage, social anxieties, issues. It's, it's not a big satirical thing. Not at all. We've got some load shedding jokes, you know, because every yeah. time load shedding happens, Rana Paulza says the same thing he does. I'm shocked. <laughs> How what? is he shocked there? There's no electricity. There's nothing. There's nothing. Uh, so it's got a, 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 but most of it's we've got a, a whole lot of really fun characters. It's interactive. We get someone out the audience. You can sit your dad in the front row and get him out. And we've got a ventriloquism mask that we oh, put on him. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that, that's a lion. He's a lion. And then he, he hunts someone in the audience. It's super fun. And he teaches me how to dance. It's, it's super interactive. Uh, my, we've got an ostrich. We've got my ostrich puppet tries to teach me how to dance. Yeah, yeah. Now make him out of feather dusters. There he is. He's made out of two feather dusters, a, a slipper, and some eyes. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> Mr. Dixon there, that's uh, my high school teacher. We have him here. He'll come out later. That other guy's not in the show. But the, um, the, it, it's so much fun. Every, anyone who's like, to bring your 12-year-old. It is PG-16 if you're conservative. It's not rude, rude. But if you're conservative, yeah. just a warning. Yes. But, but your 12-year-old will love it. And everyone else up will love it too. That's what he says. I have to stay in the suitcase. I travel in that suitcase. When we fly, he goes in the suit. And then the lady at South there, Jennifer, says, is there anything dangerous in the suitcase? And then I stick my head out and I go, yes, Chuck, he's here. <laughs> <laughs> they always freak out because they think I'm Nathaniel. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! In a suitcase! Oh! In a suitcase! Man! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we have a question on social media for, for the people watching the show asking them how they stay in shape. Uh, but any special way that Chester stays... How do I stay, stay in shape? Yes. Well, I, I'm made out of latex. It's like asking a condom that it goes to gym. <laughs> I mean, what is going on? Do they go to Woolworths and check if the mannequins are working out? How do you keep your figure? Oh, I eat well. <laughs> what?
Ons komt terug. Weet hier nou dat ik deze brik zelfs ons verder met kwadraat. En, 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 en nog iemand anders naast iemand anders ook. Thanks, Chester, for, for being... Hey, I love for, you, guy. Yeah, I love your you. shirt. And Jennifer, you. good luck with the earrings. Oh, yeah. thanks. Just don't be coy about it. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, don't be coy. He's got jokes. He's <laughs> <laughs> got jokes. Yeah, I can't do it. No, no. I caught the joke about fish. <laughs> Conrad, during the, the break, we spoke about the psychological thing about about a puppet. Yeah, uh, it's 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 an extra persona on stage with you. Yeah, it is it is your creation, but it's a personality of mm. its own. Hmm. It's almost an entity on stage that whoever hmm. is there watching you, or also if you do it on TV, an interview, uh, Chester interviewing someone, you can't you can't be angry at the puppet because yeah. it's just a puppet. It's yeah. like being angry at a toaster. Yeah. Uh, the imagine psychology, the psychology of how a puppet works and gets away with much more than anyone would. Yeah. It's fascinating. It is amazing. It's got to do with like. The fact that this is a very fun art form. It's very fun to see something come alive and then when you start endowing it with life, like anything's possible. So unlike human beings where there's kind of there's a narrative of where they come from and etc. Yes. etc. Et um, and because Chester was alive for so long on TV, if you didn't go see him, go on his social media, Chester Missing on Facebook, if YouTube, you like politics everywhere. or TikTok, he's got like four a half a million followers. TikTok's wild. And he goes and he tells like silly jokes to people on the streets on his own. And because he existed on his own for so long, I have people come up to me and want to talk to Chester, like Guerra Mantashe, you know, this ANC politician. He calls me Chester. He knows I have a name. He just doesn't care. He just calls you Chester. <laughs> he just calls me Chester. So it's got this sort of funness, especially because Chester's life became on his own, touring around. Uh, and now on stage, his audience, it's good. you've got a mix of people. Some people who just never, who a lot of people at the be at this Monday Casino show this weekend, who've never seen me perform and like, oh, wow, this is just fun stuff. It's not just a smachashule, I have to know what happened in the news. Uh, and, and then his hardcore fans that are just, they, he's alive. Yeah. I've got a new guy. Would you like to meet him? Uh, absolutely. A new he's, guy? A new guy. Well, he's a, not a new guy because he's an old guy, but his name's oh, wow. he's my high school teacher. Yes. Now, I went to one of those high schools where yeah. you're a bit like mean to the teacher. It's terrible. We all used to do it. Uh, like, smart. Yeah, I know. If the teacher had a stutter, you called them remix, you know. Hey, hey, hey. You know, that's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. Actually, and, she used to be a teacher. Uh, well, then you know, well, then you'll relate to Mr. Dixon. Well, so. I'm sure I would. I wouldn't have liked you as a student. No, but... not at all. <laughs> not at all. So this is this is my high school teacher memory of those days. It's Mr. Dixon. So, okay, okay. Hello. Hello, class. Hello. No, we're on the Groot on bait. Oh, Lekker, that's very nice. Come on, my favourite show is there. And Jennifer, hello, you guys. Hello, Mr. Dixon. Hello, hello. Nice <laughs> to see you today, eh? And Mr. Dixon, we've asked everyone, you know, how do they stay fit? How, how do you stay fit? How do I stay fit? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, I can't answer that. My wife and I, we, you know, we keep it alive. That's all I'm going to say. Nice <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 I know. You've got you to gotta look after yourself, don't you, hey, Jennifer? You You've got to look after yourself. I've been watching rugby. Oh, oh Mr. Oh. Dixon, uh, who do you support? Hey, the arse thought the uh, Listerines. No, sorry, the, the Springboks. Oh, Did you oh. see that new outfit? The, the Peppermint Springboks. Yes, they look yeah. like the checkers. I don't know what's going on. If there's a Stearmans or the string, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Do you think we're going to win the World Cup? Well, of course you're going to win. Okay. You've got to be, you've got to be proud, eh? You know, you fake knowing rugby, Jennifer. Yeah, you yeah. don't know what's going on. This is what you say. You wait until the end of the match, yeah? And then you say exactly these words, yeah? You say... Guys, 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 get go and uh, amongst the boy kids and say, guys, 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 guys. Are you at night? You gotta say it exactly like that, Jennifer. You can't say at the end of the day. You gotta say, are you at night? The back line needs work. <laughs> what does that mean? I've got no idea. <laughs> but it's always true. It's always true. <laughs> are you at night? <laughs> the back line needs work. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and the score line is usually 60-60. Exactly, there we go. 60-60 and your check is all the Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Mr. Nixon, uh, uh, how's, how's doing the show every evening with him then? Are, are you prepared? It's exhausting. He doesn't organise anything. I don't have a drink of water, Jennifer. It's very hard work. I don't have a contract. But you oh, work wow. here at Groot then. You know what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to decide? You know, no I do not want to get fired, 
comments. I'm not going to comment yeah, on that. But thank I you agree. Very much. I advise yes. you not to. That's a good idea. You know, it used to be a teacher, Jennifer. Yes. It's yes. difficult, isn't it, eh? It is. I've got so much sympathy for you. I oh, really no. do. It's hard. It's hard because the kids say weird things to you. You had no idea. They say, oh, sir, the dog ate my homework. That's no. exactly. And then I say, well, bring it in anyway. I'm confident the quality didn't change. <laughs> Even after going through the dog. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Dixon, how long have you been teaching for? Uh, 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 48 years. Hey, I wow. look at donor. <laughs> you don't look a day older than 21. You're so nice. You oh. as well, hey? <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's a two years need to as well, but the other. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to Because the kids are naughty, eh? They write rude things, don't they, hey? On the, while you're writing on the, you know, on the, on the, what can I say, you know, the, 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 Bar you know, the board of colour. What's it? Blackboard. Yeah, no, you can't say it. No, you can't say it. Can't say it. Yeah, 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 you can say that. <laughs> oh, I wasn't say sure. It. That's when they write notes. They wrote, Mr. Dixon's nose looks like a dungus. And I was so rude. It's, it's offensive, because look. <laughs> yeah, it, it is a bit of a... Of a... <laughs> That's an old nose. It doesn't. Look what it does there, Jennifer. <laughs> My it goodness, it's very upsetting. <laughs> it, it, it must be. It must be. Listen, you, but you know what? No. no matter how bad it gets, I always tell my kids, guys, no matter how sad you are, don't forget. I don't know. I don't know. The back line needs work. Needs work. <laughs> the back line needs work. I don't know. Because the kids, the kids, I mean, it's difficult, I guess, kids these days. No, I have advice. You know, if you want your kids to do the dishes there, just wait until a kissing scene comes on in a movie that they must really be throwing, just really going. And the kids hate it when they yeah, see yeah. parents kissing. They run off. Yeah, they run away. And so as soon as that kissing scene must be for all the tana, the, everything must be going. And then you turn to your kids and say, hey, Kanas, see this part here? Your mother and I love doing that. <laughs> They will be in that kitchen there faster than a Mari biscuit melts in coffee. <laughs> this is and, and if you've ever stuck a this Mari biscuit in coffee, you'll know they have the structural integrity of a bridge bolt with an Eastern Cape tender. <laughs> <laughs> First sign of moisture and they just washed away. <laughs> yeah, in um, uh, Exactly. I have to ask you, do you ever get stage fright? So when you do your shows and there's so many people sitting there... Is it difficult? Well, you know, I have a hand inside my... <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's not a comedian, he's a suppository. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm fine, but in... Oh, I guess he does. I'm fine. I'm used to talking in public because if you think kids are scared yet, an audience is nothing compared to kids. You know what very I'm true, saying, Jennifer. It's, so it's not that hard. You know, I had to teach the trata from Thergelijking to... English Trouble kids. Trouble from Vergelijking. Yeah, they had no idea. They had Vergelijking. No, yeah, donker, donker der Eskom, you know. <laughs> it sounds like a wine farm, the Trouble uh, from Vergelijking. Yeah, it does sound like a wine farm or a horror movie, hey, starring Charlie Theron. The Trouble from Vergelijking, starring Charlie Theron. <laughs> <laughs> it does, it does. Mr. Nixon, so you're also in this show. Yes, I am. I, I didn't want to be, but he asked me nicely, and so Jennifer and Andy, I'm telling her, teach them, give the kids advice, parents and advice on how to deal with their kids. You oh. know, education, it's not, it's not easy, is it? You know, I always no. say to the kids, kids, there's no such thing as a stupid question. That's true. Yeah, that's how you find them. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the stupid kids, then. That's exactly it. Yeah. She knows because she's a teacher. That's how she tricked them. <laughs> There's always one, isn't there? <laughs> so, but, but the show has been a ton of fun. And um, Mr. Dixon has some great advice on uh, what to do with you. Walk in on your parents and they're busy doing adult things. No, don't. Oh. It's a morning TV. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yammer on the score. Yammer. Yeah, no, well, yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a nice idea. I, I would like to hear advice. You that. need to hear my advice. It's very, very good. I have advice on how to get by when you get older as a couple. My wife and I, we had so much fun together. We had so much fun. I, I, said, I said to her, uh, she said, I, Clive, I want excitement and romance. I said, darling, we're 83. I don't think Discovery will cover that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, a little bit of fun and the education advice. You know, not everyone gets my jokes. You know, no, ah. I, I remember the stupidest kid I ever taught there. He, 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 his name was Lionel Richardson. And, and Jennifer, this was a very upsetting... He's uh, naming the stupid no, kid. No, his, his name was Lionel Richardson, and he, he deserves to be outed. And then on the... <laughs> 
And then in, well, what happened? Well, you know when you write, I knew you were stupid because when you were writing the exams, he copied his friend's exams. How did you know? Well, you know when you write name at the top? Lionel Richardson wrote Lucy Shabalala. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you under, his name was Lionel Richardson. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he wrote Lucy Shabalala. <laughs> you have to work with him. Yeah, Light, his, na his name wasn't well, Lucy Shout the Lala there. He wrote. The, his name was Lionel Lionel Richardson. Richardson. <laughs> <laughs> so he works on the yeah, show, I, hey? I guess. This is your day job. Well, I'm, I'm trying my best, <laughs> Mr. Dixon. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Dixon, we no, need to. No, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry. His yeah. name wasn't Lucy Shout the Lala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, got, I got it, I got it. Thank you, Mr. Dixon. Thank you. <laughs> Because you didn't laugh. <laughs> you liked it and yeah, you laughed but because Jennifer laughed. But <laughs> Mr. Dixon, he's like that kid. It's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sir, this Lucy is Lucy Shabalala. I'm... Meneer Dixon and Conrad Koch. Hello. It's <laughs> Sabo <laughs> Vrucht, the 15th, 16th and 17th by the Peter Turin Theater in Monte Casino. Thank you very much, Conrad, for, for, for bringing you. all your... Thank yeah, you. I really appreciate it. Lucy Shabalala. <laughs> yeah, Shabalala, <laughs> meneer. Not, his name was Lionel Richards. Yeah, and Jennifer it. understands. <laughs> She doesn't look that clear. That <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Mr. Dixon. <laughs> Lucy shot the lot. Mr. Dixon. You're not, you're not going to lie, OK? No matter how hard this was for us today, now, when you get home late today, you're going to look at each other or whatever, your friend, and go, are you going to die? Are you going to die? But that the back line needs work. There you are. I said, you think it's with you now for the show. Are you going to die? back line needs work. Thank you very much, Conrad, and Thanks, good luck for yeah. the show. Come see this weekend. You book at web tickets. It's going to be at Monte Casino. It's really fun. I really, you guys are great. Thank, Thank you for putting up my rubbish. No, 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 no. It's not the same show. It's more than you. Now, that's it. You're not going to do it. That's the thing. Let's go back to the TNC break. Let's go back to the TNC break.